Tinkering is always fun, especially when you have a socket 771775 Intel Xeon CPU mod, installing a CPU cooler with zip ties, and adding a low profile 10 series graphics card, and cooling this all with a makeshift double sided taped fan. Why well, yes, a tad bit unusual, but hey, so is my channel. picked up this awesome brand new in the box MSI Mini ITX motherboard off of eBay for around 35 bucks but get this it was made in year 2008 so is it a collector's item or does it come out to play well let's just say it called out to me I still got some game I still got some game put me in coach sometimes I sell my projects locally you know because of shipping costs but most of the time I just reuse the parts for other builds like we have here, this old Acer that I themed for Minecraft, and I really like the way that this guy turned out, you know, so it's a perfect fit for this old MSI Socket 775. Now, for the Xeon mod to work, there needs to be a mod sticker on the bottom of the processor, which is already applied because this came out of my Dell Optiplex. Then there are two plastic nubs on the socket itself that need to be cut out because the Xeon and the Core 2 grooves are different. And this is a scary thing to do because you could easily bend the pin and there is no guarantee that the Xeon will work or not be buggy, so it is indeed a crapshoot. Okay, let's move on to zip tying a CPU cooler, only if you are in a pinch. See, I lost the brackets to this one, and well, who wants to wait for a new cooler in the mail? Although, this is not a long-term fix, I imagine over time they will stretch and loosen up. But today, today, they are lifesavers. Okay, so in review, brand new old motherboard Xeon 771-775 mod, old Acer donor case, CPU cooler rigging, and oh yeah, double-sided tape to attach a case fan for extra cooling. And this is a must, as for the GT1030 tends to get a little hot in this case. Let's finish this baby up. Hey, just see if we can do anything with it. What do you think? Okay, what we have is an X3363 Intel Xeon, 120GB ADATA SSD, Windows 7 Ultimate, MSI GT1030, 4GB PC2-6400, zip ties and tapes and bottlenecks, but most importantly a whole lot of fun.